What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today, I want to talk about how the Republican Party is the home for white racists and white nationalists. And of course, I'm going to stitch a video here proving it, you know, that Republicans are the party that caters to white nationalists, white racists, and white supremacists. And they have a plan to coerce ignorant black men to come over to their side to vote on their behalf against their own interests because they know they can't get the black women to do it because the black women are staunchly, staunchly Democrat, right? So the only black people they can pull are black men who are right now, some of them having a war with black women. Now I want you to notice that most of the black men who are calling themselves Republicans are also red pill manosphere dudes who also come online and they constantly disrespect women. I just want you to notice the pattern between the whole red pill community and think about the whole idea of a red pill, red Republican, blue pill, blue pill Democrat, blah, blah. Just, it's all, it's, it's, it's all like, it's all connected. But just notice, look at your red pill community and look how they disrespect black women and look how they are all of a sudden conservative. They want women to shut up, be barefoot, and you know, keep their mouth closed, stay in their lane, and let men be men, right? That's that's what they say. Most of them are just a bunch of bitches, to be honest, you know, who just are not manly enough to get a man, but this is just where we at right now. Right? But if you notice, there's been a transition because the punk ass white man and the punk ass black man are both uniting under the guise of women ain't shit right and through that glue of ignorance and unmanliness they are they're coercing in black people to call themselves republicans or and all that stuff right and then they're making black people concentrate on lgbt issues which black people historically we don't really care you know we all got gay people in our family we don't really it's not really that serious but these individuals are making it an issue something super serious you know but Republicans will never, ever, ever, ever allow a black person to be a leader of their party. Ever. All right. Like you got this guy, Tim Scott, right? Tim Scott running for the presidency, right? This guy will never be allowed to be the president because white racists will use you as a vote. They'll use you as a pawn, but they'll never allow you to be a leader. You see, in the Democratic Party, you know, people always say, oh, the Democrats are racist. The Democrats used to be racist. We're talking a hundred years ago. Okay? Just like the Republicans used to be the party of black people. Like a hundred years ago almost. We the Republicans, right? The Republicans, when they sleep when they freed the slaves, guess what? They were progressive Republicans who believed in progressive policies because it was very progressive back then to say, hey, let's not enslave black people. It was conservative back then to say, hey, we should enslave black people. The Democrats back then were the conservative Democrat Dixiecrats who wanted to conserve racism. You see how that happened? So there was a turn. But you see these dumb, stupid, coon Republican sellouts where have you believe that they're both equally racist. That's not the truth. You see, the Democrat Party is where all of our black politicians that want to make change within our communities, that's that's who they reside, either they're independent or other parties or the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party, if you look at politics in America, you look where black people are excelling in government, excelling in leadership, excelling in, in governance, being given opportunities to govern their own you know, locales, being, being able to govern states, being able to govern uh, their, their, their um, towns and, and, and have mayors and and all that stuff, they're all Democrats. Why? Because the Democrats, which is a big tent party, Democrats have Democratic conservatism, Democratic centrists, Democratic liberals, Democratic neoliberals, Democratic progressives. Then you got the far left, super Democrat, super lefts, right? Like way over there, right? So the Democrat party is actually a big tent party that has many different parties in it. 
Same with the Republican Party. Actually, to be honest, you have liberal Republicans, progressive Republicans. You have a progressive and liberal Republicans are now called like Green Party now. They done, they done left and went to the Green Party and, and all this other stuff, right? Libertarian Party. Some of them went to the Libertarian Party. There's some small hat, true conservatives, meaning limited government. And they really mean that just in a government sense. Republicans, but they've been, they've been cut out. The modern day Democratic Party, I mean, sorry, the modern day Republican Party, they're not even really conservative because all they do is give tax cuts to the rich. The same way the Democrats do, give tax cuts to the rich while screwing us over, right? And every policy the Republicans have is regressive, not progressive, regressive. You can't name me one Republican policy that has been, has been progressive to move society along. Not just black people, just American society at all. That's why Republicans don't talk about policy. They're only talking about social issues that they know they can get people emotional and drummed up about and distracted about. But they don't want to talk about policies because Republican policies are not popular with the American people. Democratic policies are popular with the American people. It's just that Democrats don't seem to be able to get any of these policies that's, you know, popular with the American people passed any anyhow any 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 which way right they can't do it because democrats have a problem they're weak they don't know how to fight like mindless drones like the like the republicans do republicans are stupid mindless drones but they know how to fight democrats are intellectuals they don't want to fight they're too good for it and they're weak right but without further ado i'm gonna attach this video because black republicans are sellouts every well i'm not gonna say every one of them because some of them have come to the realization that the Republican Party is not a place for black people to be able to lead anything. As long as you maintain a puppet, as long as you maintain white supremacy, as long as you punch down on black people, holding them accountable, right? Holding them accountable. The same shit they've been saying for years every, since one, or every one of these coons come out and push, pump, and protect white supremacist policies, protect white nationalist po policies, protect America as an institution over black people. You see, black people don't ride for black. Black Republicans don't actually ride for black people. They ride for the white system. That's why they tell you, that's why they want black people to be punished for all of our degenerate shit while ignoring their buddies, them white folk, they masters, their degenerate shit. That's why they come on the internet and TV every day and they talk about the stereotypes and they reinforce the stereotypes that by now, the age of information, we should all know are stereotypes. They're false. Like Chicago, like how long, how many times do we have the people with logic got to tell you and common sense tell you Chicago is not the worst place. Not even on the top 10 is the most dangerous place. If you look at the list of the top 10 most dangerous places to live in America, the top six are Republican states. You look at the highest murder rates per, per like, not state. When you do states, you know, black folks, we tend to live in big cities. So they use big cities because the way they do the population samples, it makes it look like we're disproportionately more violent. But in actuality, if you put in those little states in them rural areas that white people actually live in, the majority of them, white people overwhelmingly kill each other way more than us. Overwhelmingly uh, do more criminal and debauchery than us. But... You can't count on a black conservative to highlight those facts. They will only talk about Chicago, Baltimore, black and black crime, accountability. They will go against their own people under the guise of, of calling my people accountable, right? But in actuality, they're just cooning for the white man. Okay, anyway, I'm, a, I'm done talking. I'm going to let somebody else talk because I'm not the only one who feel this way. About 99.99% of black people feel this way. And we're not falling for the trick bag. Because black people are smarter now. While these Republicans are playing checkers, right? They're playing checkers, goldfish, and they can't even get a match. Uh, smart, intelligent black people understand that we don't need to be a part of the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. We need to step back and start looking at policy, right? Policies actually have numbers and nomenclatures. You can actually look them up online and you can talk about them. You can read it and everything. You ain't got to guesstimate or nothing. You can actually look it up and say, I like that. I don't like that. I like this politician because he's pushing for this. I like this politician because he's pushing for this. Or I like this politician because he's against this policy with a number on it. All right? Real shit. Not just the gay stuff. Yeah. And I heard Hunter Biden. Nobody gives a 
fuck about Hunter Biden. He wasn't a politician. And if you want to talk about Hunter Biden, let's talk about Donald Trump's fucking children. You see the hypocrisy there? Huh? You want to talk about Hunter Biden? I don't deny he's a crackhead. I don't deny he did this and did that. And But guess what? All politicians' children take advantage of their parents being politicians. Like Donald Trump's kids, who we know got billions and billions of dollars because daddy was the president. So stop playing with the hypocrisy, you stupid, dumb, coon-ass Republicans, okay? I mean, it's just, it's so, it's so ridiculous, it actually hurts my head. But anyway, let me stop talking. I can talk all day. I'm gonna let these other guys talk. That's all I gotta say. It's Afro Think Tank, learn some tea, I'm out. Oh, bless it. Happy Thursday, you glorious motherfuckers. Christian, did I see where a black man who participated in the resurrection on January 6th got six years in prison? Didn't they just give a little old white lady like three or four months and the GOP and everybody and their mama is upset because both of them folks did the same thing, but the black man got six years in prison. <laughs> Have your way, Lord. This message goes out to every black Republican whose views align with the current GOP, darling. They will never pick you. They will never stand beside you, next to you, in front of you. Not only will they not stand on it, they won't even glance your way. And now your ass got to do six years. They don't care. And neither the fuck do we, baby. You be blessed in the Lord and shit, okay, pumpkin? And have a day. What is something that you see on TikTok that will make you instantly scroll? Trump did more for black people than any other president besides Abraham Lincoln. But her emails and Biden sucks and the gas is too high. And, and Putin is actually a good person when you really get to know him. And y'all black. To black, Hispanic and Jewish Republican voters, what are you thinking? You do realize your own party hates you, right? That they hate you? I mean, it's very obvious. Every, every law is about getting rid of uh this race thing or that race thing or or hispanic this or black this or you or you know and you're still okay with it what you don't realize is they would all turn on you in a heartbeat and get rid of you systematically if they could so for you to keep voting republican at this time and space you are basically sealing your own fate why why are the republicans uh getting black men's vote Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he's about to tell us how great Republican policies are for black people, right? Number one, because we're voting on, because because these lovely ladies are on their own and we're voting our interests. That's the first thing. Nope. You're angry because black women won't do what you tell them to do. Okay, let's see what the second one is. The second thing is the disrespect. The disrespect. The disrespect. Oh, so number two is just reiterating number one, how they won't do what you tell them to do. You never hear them tell us uh, about how we're the best fathers in America, according to that CDC study, the most involved father. You never hear that. So you vote for the party who literally took a black man and made his whole run for office about how bad black fathers are. Okay. Because we want sex from women. We're going over there because we like the way we're respected as men. He goes on to just cry more and more about how black women don't do what he wants them to do. Sounds very familiar. Like there was this group of people who wanted black people to do what they wanted black people to do. And if they didn't, they would be punished for it. The white supremacist teachings don't fall far from the white supremacist teachings tree. You have a good one. Tim Scott, the uh, only black Republican senator currently in the Senate from South Carolina, has announced that he is running in the Republican primary in 2024. The Associated Press reports Senator Tim Scott makes it official. He's a Republican candidate for president. Now, we're going to talk about some of the details here, but let me bottom line this for you. The 40,000 foot view on Tim Scott's candidacy is number one, dead on arrival. Number two, how on earth is the party that most recently selected as their candidate 
an old white guy who regularly stoked fears about brown and black people. How is that very same electorate going to say, hey, you know what? Let's elect a black guy instead of Trump when Trump is actually running again. You don't really need to know anything else about Tim Scott's candidacy. Other than that, the, the same voters aren't going to go from the white guy stoking fears about brown and black people to a black guy. They're just not going to do it. <laughs>